Hey guys, Tigerstock here, and I am on my Amplified Survivor World, and we got to episode 10! Woohoo! It's, it's very nice, it's episode 10, so we that means we made 20 minus 1 is 19. We made 19 videos on this series. That is nice. 19 videos. Oh boy. So let's jump right into this. First, let's review the changes that I made to the house of there. So first, let's view from down here. I made this thing right here, which is an overhang, and I also kind of fixed up this deck. I, I think I might have had that in the last episode. I also made this giant overhang with the two holes in it, make it look nicer. And I finished the path here, and also put fences on it, which will keep me from falling off a three meter wide path, I think. I don't know why I put them there, just maybe to look nice. I also kind of put up some lampposts. Uh, probably on peaceful again. Yeah. Don't know why it does that. Might be another world. Uh. So yeah, that's the sun. I'm gonna get the sunset from the inside. So I built the bookshelf. Let me get a picture of the sunset first. All right, so this is my guest bedroom. So this wall I changed and I'll show you this, that in this room. So. Um, so in this room, this is where I sleep and I have this nice fireplace where it kind of goes around and then this links into this wall and then goes there. It's nice added on detail. I kind of just wanted another wall material. Maybe I'll put like some sort of painting there or some thingamajig that looks nice. And also on the overhang, I put a table with a couple crafting benches for no reason. And there's also that kind of hole. And the bookshelf over here, it's a nice swivel bookshelf. I can't put anything there though. It's probably just decoration for no reason. And we still have this thing right here. And I'll take the fast way down. Ugh. Okay, so. This thing over here, which I think I introduced in the ninth episode, not 9.5, but 9. I made bunnies. And now I have trapped more kinds of bunnies. So yeah, it's just that. Um, for my 9.5 episode though, what I did do is, oh, gosh, eating. <laughs> what I did do is I found, is I made this uh, tower over here in Plains Avenue of the sheep. So this thing's three stories, so the first story is just normal lobby stuff. I might put some sort of like pillow decoration or something that looks nice. And the second story is also sheep. So what I do is that there's usually four in here. This the fourth one. Now I can just breed one. Oh, nope, there's one. So what I do is breed all four to get two sheep, and then I just kill two so that there's you almost always four. Same thing goes for up here, except that there's a slanted roof and there's a fireplace so I can burn the flesh and get the cooking. Oh, whatever. Anyway, next thing is the plains houses, which are these things. I also made one over there, but these are going to be what the plains houses look like. It's like pretty much a glass box with this around it. There's an unfinished one down there. It's amazing how much stone that takes up. Oh my gosh, but I got a lot of stone. And there's one over there. And that is a creeper. Where is my four creeper sword? The four creeper sword just doesn't have any knockback. Ow. Do I have any dirt? No. And this thing right here is my uncomplete mine shaft. Yeah, I'm already working on it. Also, I went over there. And 
found no, uh, this. I, I I just put it in 64 or 64. But I realized that that wasn't going to work. So, because of my low sapling supply. Yeah. Uh, and did that. So, speaking of which. This is a foreshadow right here. That right there is a foreshadow. Speaking of which, I also got potatoes up there, which is also a foreshadow. So if we go way off in there, which I might cut this out, there will be something. I shouldn't be eating my potatoes. I should be eating my carrots, which I'm oversupplied with. So, I went off in this direction to see if there's anything worthwhile, and, uh, well, I found the potatoes. Neatly arranged in rows, I think you know what I'm talking about now. So, I think if I go over the hill, you'll see it, but meanwhile I want to talk about uh, me opening a private server locally, not on the internet. But I w it will be running pretty much 24-7 whenever I'm logged into my account, which is almost always. But I'm not always on it, it's just logged in and running. Which, it'll process this world all the time. So my crops will grow, everything will grow. So over here, I found a village. But not only one village, but two. Kinda right next to each other. So I think that's one. And then the second one's like way over there. I found the birch wood here. Yeah. So that's going to be in use for another project I want to work on. Huh. So I can go show you the other village, just show you what it's like. Maybe I could build a minecart system over this way. Ooh, nice. That one. So yeah, that's the other village, and there's another acacia biome, and then there's all that, there's that. There's that thing. So we can go back. And that thing is only like 500 blocks away, if, which is like half a kilometer. That's only like half a kilometer away. That's how much I have left this place. Yeah, I barely go anywhere. Even my other villages are only like not even a kilometer away. Because I think the map's like 640 by 640, maybe 200. Maybe 256 blocks by 256 blocks. And it takes about four maps, so that is one terabyte, which is, yeah, that's about a kilometer away. So if we go back in here. Um, yeah, that's the incomplete one right there. So what I was thinking about doing is I watch Mumbo Jumbo. And in his Amplified Survival World on Hermitcraft, I saw that he made a balloon. Now, all, what I want to do is I want to put a balloon right there. So... Should be in the minecart. So I'll show you what I'm going to do. A lovely new old house transformed into a lobby for 21st Street. 12 house, beautiful. All these nicely placed lamps built into the side po side of the posts. The shortcut through the mountain, which is right next to the nice smelling farm. This is really nice. Um. So what I'm planning on doing is building like some sort of like pathway up 
and then into a balloon that's like made out of wood because I don't know what I else I'm going to do and I'm not going to use wool because that's that, that'll just look weird without a texture pack well it's not the best idea I'll use the wood stuff and I'll keep it about like 20 blocks away from this and about 10 blocks up so yeah uh, that that'll be a project. I'll probably make this video off camera because that'll be so hard. And I'll do a cover, and then I'll do the thing, and then I'll put the stuff in the balloon. <clears throat> Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, a reading would be much appreciated. If you really liked it, make sure to subscribe. I am Tiger Stock, and I'll see you guys all next time. Bye.